Hey, it's me, Don't Feel This. I want to come on today. I want to come on as I want to actually teach people something. I want to teach you guys how we can all create our own economy. I know that sounds crazy, but you can. You can create your own economy. And that's what I think we really need to focus on. Um, I heard Bob Proctor say that he has this thing called creating your own economy. And that's what we un need to understand how to do. We have the power to create our own economy. And so once you understand that power that you have and you learn the steps in order for you to create your own economy, you'll start learning that there's nothing like that. Somebody will call me right in the middle of me making my video. <laughs> But listen, we have to all learn how to create our own economy. And that's the problem. Most of us don't know how to do it. And the reason we don't know how to do this is because we have not been programmed in order to do that. We've been programmed the total opposite. And that's what I want to come on and share with you. I want to share with us, with you and everybody else, how to reprogram your mind so that you can learn how to start creating your own economy. It's a really simple thing to do. It's, um, let me say, it's a simple it's simple steps to do. It's not simple to do. Because what happens is when you start reprogramming your mind, the stuff that's in there, it'd be fighting for their life to stay on it. It don't want to go nowhere. It's been programmed. And you know, the sad part is when you say people been programmed, people be like, I'm not programmed. I'm not brainwashed. Da, 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 da. But we all are programmed. We all are brainwashed because we didn't program ourselves. No, we didn't. Unless you start reprogramming your own mind you didn't re you didn't program your mind your program your mind is programmed by others your mind is programmed by your family by your teachers by television by movies by things you read by things you've seen things that you had absolutely no control over they were programming your mind from the time you're born to the time you're seven years old that's when most of your programming take place because at that particular time your subconscious mind is completely wide open and acceptable to anything and everything there's no there's no barriers set up yet to, to block out um, something. The thing is your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. It, it just knows things that's um, repetitions and things that we accept to be true. And then it takes those things that we accept to be true and it makes those things true in our world and in our reality. That's the purpose of it. It's, the purpose is to make things easy on you and make things that bring you the things that you believe and desire and want. The problem is most of the time we don't know what we want we haven't programmed for what we want. We just programmed for whatever it is that other people programmed us. This is how come, you know, when you see people who say, you know, oh, I'm overweight because it's in my genes. It's hereditary. It's not really hereditary. It's not in your genes. no fat gene. The problem is you've been programmed to eat incorrectly because that's how your family eats. That's how your family was programmed to eat. Your family programmed to eat unhealthy. Therefore, you were programmed to eat unhealthy. So... They were overweight, and so that's why you're overweight. It's nothing to do with a gene. Like, let me tell you, my mother hated cats. Now, there's no reason she hated cats. She hated cats because her mother hated cats. So I hated cats. Hated cats. Couldn't stand cats. Had absolutely never been around a cat. Never been near a cat. Just hated them because I was programmed to hate cats. And I remember one day my, uh, my husband was programmed to hate cats. And he liked cats. <laughs> and then one day... We were living in Irvington, New Jersey, and we were, I saw a mouse in the house. And my uh, my um, husband's, uh, my, my um, daughter, my oldest daughter, she's my stepdaughter, she had a kitten. Her cat had, her cat had kittens, and my husband went and took one of her cats and brought it to the house. Didn't say nothing to me. Just bring this cat home. And I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing with the cat? You know I hate cats. He was like, why do you hate cats? I was like, I, I hate cats. Uh, my mother hated cats, so I hate cats. He's like, you hate cats because your mother hated cats? Why does your mother hate cats? I said, her mother hated cats. So you hate cats because your mother hated cats. Hated cats. And yeah, and her mother hated cats. Have you ever been around a cat? I was like, no, because I hate them. But let me tell you, this little cat, oh my God, I fell in love. It was like the best pet I ever had. <laughs> And now I don't hate cats. I absolutely no reason to hate cats. I just was programmed to hate cats because my mother always hated them. So therefore, I felt like I was supposed to hate them. It was no, had no rhyme or reason. I was just programmed to hate cats. And that's what happens when we're programmed to certain things. We're programmed to get a job. Go get a job. Get a job. And that's what you do. You go get a job. It don't have to be a job that you like because you're programmed to believe that you're not supposed to like your job. You're supposed to hate your job. Just something to help you pay your bills. 
But that's because you're programmed that way. But if you want to be able to um, create your own economy, meaning that you want to create enough money that you'll be able to survive regardless of what, you can do that. You have the power to do that. Only you have the power to do that. You can't sit there and say, you know, the man that's holding us down. The only man that's holding down is you. You the man that's holding yourself down. And you hold yourself down because you don't haven't learned how to program your mind. If you start learning how to program your mind, you can start changing things around. You can start creating your own economy. And let me just say, say this to you. Right now is the best time ever for you to start learning how to create your own economy. And let me tell you why. The reason is... Inflation. <laughs> Went to the store the other day. I bought like seven items that came up to $129. And it was not major items. It was just regular stuff like some meats and some potatoes <laughs> and, and vegetables. Very minimal, like two bags. And it came to $129. Went to the gas station the other day. Filled up my gas tank and it was $80 when it's normally $35 to fill up my gas tank. So... You have to start creating your own economy in order to keep up. Now, the problem is most of us are programmed into by television. Television know what they're doing. Now, you might have been accidentally programmed by your family and friends growing up, but television is not accidentally programming you. Television is programming you because it's designed to program you. That's why they call it television programming because they are programming you to behave a certain way. They program you to think a certain way. They program you to believe certain things. That's how come just think about this. If you watch the news, it looks like only black people commit crimes for the most part. Like you see black people on TV being arrested. But in the United States there's way more uh, people that's not black than there are people that's black. So logic will tell you that more crimes are committed by the majority of the people. Since there's a majority of people, if I got, if I have a million people over here and ten million people over here, out of the million, there's gonna be more than ten million. There's more than ten thousand. I mean, you know, if I got a million over here and ten thousand over here, out of the million, there's gonna be more people who's gonna probably commit crime than out of the ten thousand. But on the news, they'll just show you out of the ten thousand. So it seems like black people commit more crimes. That's programming. That's television programming. They want you to believe that. So that's why they program it that way. That's why on um, whenever you watch movies and stuff, usually it's a black person that's the drug dealer, um, <laughs> the pimp, you know, that type of thing, because that's the way they want you to believe. That's programming. That's called programming. And you believe it because subconsciously your mind picks it up. Your subconscious never goes to sleep. It picks up everything 24 hours a day seven days a week and it shifts through the information and it keeps the stuff that it thinks will be beneficial for you that you know and the things that you that's not beneficial for you it'll let go but the problem is most of the stuff that it's keeping is not really beneficial for you and that's because you haven't learned how to program your own mind you've been being programmed by other people when you start learning how to program your own mind you're only going to start keeping things that's beneficial for you but I'm going to warn you in advance that it is going to be kicking and screaming to hold on to the stuff that it was programmed to believe. There's a lot of people out here who, you, you know, I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to start wanting to reprogram your mind, the very first thing you're going to have to do is turn off the television set. Television is going to program you the opposite of what it is that you're trying to do for yourself. So just turn off TV altogether. Get rid of television. Don't watch anything, especially not news, not the news. <laughs> Even if you feel like you want to watch, you know, an hour of ghost, go ahead, watch power. <laughs> but you got to know that's also programming. Everything on television is programming. But spe spe specifically, do not watch the television news when you start reprogramming your mind. I remember back in, I think early 90s or early 2000s, I stopped watching news altogether because the news is programmed to put fear in you and it's programmed to it's, it's to make you, you know, unstable. It's bad news. They don't give you any positive, very few positive um, pieces. Most of it is negative pieces. And so what you're doing is you're putting all this negative energy in your 
into your being. You're taking on this negative energy. And you can say, oh, no, I'm not. But yes, you are. You're going to take go and you're going to repeat the stuff that you heard to other people. You're going to share, especially if it's um, if it's like something sensational. You're going to share it. You're going to talk about it. You're going to, you're going to write about it. And so you're bringing in that negative aura into your being. You don't need that. Not when you're trying to reprogram your mind. When you're trying to reprogram your mind for success, when you're trying to create your own economy, you don't have time for negativity. You only have time to focus on the things that you need to focus on in order to change your mind, in order to reprogram your own mind. And you can do it. Anybody can do it. We all have the capability of doing it. That's why I say when you start saying, oh, it's the man that's holding me down. It's not the man that's holding me down. It's you that's holding yourself down. So let me just show you can share with you one little thing that you want to do today. But one, we want to stop watching the news. We're going to stop putting any kind of negative thing, <clears throat> purposely allowing negative t negativity into our space. We're not going to gossip. We're not going to talk to people in any kind of negative way. Anybody that's talking about other people or being negative anyway, we're, we're going to disassociate with them for the time that they're, you know, being negative. <laughs> you don't want that in your space. Because we're creating our own economy. So listen, that's what we're going to have to do in 2022. We're creating our own economy. Share this information with people. Sign up for this, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Like the button and subscribe. And share it with people because the more people that can change their economy, the more that we can change the economy to the entire world. All right? I'm doing feels. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.